every motorcyclist has got this in the back of their mind somewhere maybe not all the time but quite yeah. a lot every time you get on a bike every time you hear about somebody else every time you come yeah. home safe yeah it's always something you're thinking about so for the people who don't know um steve had a um a near fatal accident so right. 2019 12th yeah, of yeah. may 18 months of Take us back to last May. Yeah. And what bike did you have? What was going on in your mind on that day? And basically, we'll, we'll talk through kind of what happened to you. Bought myself a, a 2005 um, R1 5VY. Um, beautiful thing. Um, really what? Um, the bike I'll keep it, you know. Uh, I'd already had it. 18 months <laughs> so you know it's a long time uh, for you yeah it's, oh, definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um so yeah um I, i'd actually bought it from castles um previous year i mean squires a uh, guy comes up to me and says that's my old bike that. anyway um like called ian Hammond, uh, and so anyway we, i said oh, i'm going out do you want to come with us so i rode with us to from squires uh, just outside leeds to helmsley um, and then he, he went off and, and I came home. Um, and we've kept in touch ever since. Uh, totally out of blue that, that 12th of May. Um, sort of, we'd, we'd not planned it, but you know, we were going out on bikes sort of Sundays and Wednesdays and things like that anyway. So I messaged me, do you fancy going out on bike Sunday 12th of May? Yeah, go on then. So I asked my missus, can I go out? Yeah. So guess on bike, uh, meets at Squires. Normal sunny, nice Sunday. Um, planned on going to Bridlington. Uh, so it sets off. Bit of traffic. Goes out past Squires on the road towards Kaywood. It's a road I've ridden on for 20 odd years, if you know what I mean. It's, uh, there's a big sweeping S bend. There's fields you can see all the way around it. Few cars, so they're just doing what you do hop from car to car. Uh, not going quick at all. Um, comes up behind the car. Um, you could see right to the other end of the S-Bend. Ian overtakes the car. I looks, goes to overtake the car. There's a, a Nissan Duke coming towards us the other way. And I, I looks in my mirror to pull back in, looked up, and there is he's in front of me. few profanities come out yeah <laughs> I can remember it you know clear as day um, and bang and that that was it and um, that's yeah, I hit the front wing uh, I hit the front wing and he oh, yeah. sort of turned in I, th I think we've sort of more or less met in the middle of the road he's turned in uh, and it threw me quite a way down the road with the bike into a load of bushes um, and the last thing, well, sorry, the first thing I sort of can recall is I just seem to remember landing in the bushes on my back um, and thinking, like, you know, like you do, no pain, nothing, of course. Um, and then all I could smell was petrol and I, and I looked to my left and I'm, I'm well into the bushes um, and I looked to my left and I could see tanker bike and just smell hot petrol and I'm just thinking, if I'm stuck in these bushes here, I'm not getting out if that goes on fire. Still no pain at all. Um, just laid there. And I'm shouting, drag bike out, drag my bike out, get bike away from me, because it's just like, it's going to go on fire, this. Who was you shouting at, though? Who was there? Was... Uh, I've no idea. Oh. I mean, obviously, I know I've been in an accident with cars around, you know what I mean? And I, and I, I could sort of... I, I just imagined there'd be people there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't know if anybody were there. And then I could hear people then going, yeah, we're, and the bike were moving, you know, and I could see it shuffling about and stuff anyway. But, you know, trying to drag a smashed up bike out of a, a hedge row is not an easy thing. Um, no. It's hard, you know, picking them up when they're falling over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, they, they dragged the bike away and I'm, they're going, you're all right, you're all right, don't move. You know, I could hear sort of things like that. 
I've had accidents in the past, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. Not involving cars, other cars, I've just sort of lost front or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it, I've always sort of known, you know, just move about a little bit, see if you're out to, you know, or whatever, move your neck a little bit or whatever. Anyway, I just, I started to feel really hot and I couldn't breathe and stuff like that. So, still no pain at all. Um, Takes my helmet off. Move, well, move my neck about, took my helmet off. And and then I just, just, you know, when you get like a hot sweats and stuff like that. So I went to unzip my levers, um, got down to sort of there, and it and I, it sort of stopped. And I looked down, and my leg were there on my chest, sort of thing. On your chest? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sole of my boot, um, and I just went, oh, and, and I threw it, um, and it, it still didn't. I thought. All I thought is I broke my leg. Um, so, <laughs> unzips my levers, you know, takes my gloves off. Um, and that was one thing that threw the paramedics, because it was my leg injury, they were trying to work out, they were looking all over me, why there was blood on my gloves, because they, there was just no blood anywhere else. And, and actually in the hospital, that's when I said, you know, when I come round after, oh, I, I, that was what happened. Um, so that cleared that up, because they couldn't work it out. Um, but it was weird, I'd still got no pain at all. Um, and then all of a sudden, just this... I, you, you can't... You remember it hurting, but you can't remember the pain, can you? You know, when you hurt yourself. And it was just the worst excruciating pain I've ever had, ever. It was, I was screaming, swearing, <laughs> you know, it, it, everything was coming out, you know. It was, it was I've never known I like it. The one thing that amazed everybody is that I'd never passed out, never lost consciousness. Um, it, 40 minutes, the ambulance took to come. So wow. 40 minutes, I'm, I'm laid in this bush, screaming. Uh, the guy that I overtook, um, don't know his name, I'd love to get in touch with him, uh, but an absolute legend. He stayed with me, looked after me, made sure I was all right. Um, the the paramedics came, uh, you know, in the car, the car guys, they were the first there, um, looked after me, they were, they, they did have a problem getting my boots off, uh, I always wear Alpine Stars SMX boots, and they've got uh, like a, a, a ratchet strap that goes round, and then you've got a zip, and then you've got a, like a, a drawstring in a boot, right. <laughs> they were struggling to get my boots off. Um, and then I, I, I remember they were saying, you know, keep calm, you're all right, don't move, and blah, blah, blah. They were in, sticking stuff all over me, and still totally conscious, um, in absolute agony, never known how I like it. Um, worse than two for I can stand in on a Lego. That's, <laughs> that's how I can put it. Um, so they, they, I remember him saying, can we cut your leathers off? And I'm like, what? You know, I mean, just do what you need to do, you know, and I was getting a bit, bit ratty, you know what I mean? So we're in the agony. And I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the pain will go away, but obviously they've got things to do, haven't they? Mm -hmm. um, they were trying to work out how to get me out of the bushes, basically. I think that was one of the issues. Um, Ian were there as well, Ian Amundu, you know, uh, I'm, I'm great lad. Uh, he were there, he's, you know, King Arm and everything. Yeah. Uh, it's actually Ian that took the pictures that, that you got. Um, the I remember him get saying, you know, can we cut your leathers off? Can we cut your leathers? And I'm going, yeah, just do what you want. And they, apparently they've got to ask because some fools in their infinite wisdom have thought that they could claim off the NHS for them damaging the leathers, you know, when they're off them and stuff. So they have to ask permission. Um, and I'm like, yeah, just do what you want. Um, so anyway, yeah, they cut my leathers off and that. And I remember just as soon as they cut my leathers off, just felt, you know, like something was just draining. Um, and they, they were, I, 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 I seemed to feel cool, you know, I'd, I'd been red hot, constantly red hot, you know, like, you know, I remember having drinks of water and things. Uh, they cut my levers off and I, I felt comfortable, but it was just like, like some pressure had gone, it was were, it were weird. Um, and the, I remember them saying something with my leg and they, it was really uh, bad, you know what I mean? And the, the, I remember him shouting, get a tourniquet, we're losing him. And I, I just, then I just blacked out. And then I, I sort of come round for some reason. 
And he, I remember him saying, right, this pain, we're going to give you some ketamine. And I'm like, I don't want that. <laughs> you know, um, and, and they gave me it and I just, it was like I was on an alien spaceship or something, you know, it was just weird. And I just, I knew something were happening because I could hear things, but it was like, uh, you know, when you've got like tinnitus or something and it's right echoey and metallic and, but I couldn't really see uh, where everything were a bit blurry. And I remember him lifting me out of the bushes. Uh, I remember moving. Uh, I remember the sound of the ambulance. And then the next thing I remember uh, is really fuzzy eyed. I couldn't, couldn't really see. And they were like, there were a light shining and there were a shape, a figure over top of me. Uh, saying we've had to, just letting you know, we've had to take your leg off. Um, that was the surgeon. You know, motorcycling isn't just about the good times. Sometimes you've got to roll with the punches. Sometimes things just happen that are totally out of your control. And sometimes they're in your control, but you make a mistake. Well, the question is, do you learn from that mistake?